Welcome to Traveling While Black. Hey, what's up? I'm Anthony. This is my wife, Marley. And welcome to another episode of Traveling While Black. Yes, welcome back, everyone. As a brief reminder, our show is based on our experiences traveling. And we base the experiences off of how good of a drive it was, how much fun we had, and most importantly, how comfortable do we feel as black people visiting for the first time? So we are on episode two of our Perspective Mover series, where we go and check out places for people thinking about moving to or around Seattle or even Western Washington. Yep. Last episode, we checked out the diverse neighborhood of Columbia City. For this episode, we're venturing outside of Seattle and checking out the city of Renton. Yeah, so we're really excited to show you all the city of Renton, and we hope these episodes are helpful as we intend them to be. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. For sure. So take a look at this episode episode and even if you don't have any questions as always let us know what you think located 11 miles southeast of seattle is the city of renton we would describe it as a bigger city with a small town feel we say bigger city because renton is the eighth biggest city in the state overall drive grade Check this out. For the next couple of episodes, we are going to base drive grade on how accessible the neighborhoods are to things such as entertainment and major highways, as well as how easy it is to get around the neighborhood. And finally, the neighborhood's proximity to any schools in the area. So like we were saying, Renton is somewhat of a bigger city, so there are a variety of roads, streets, and routes that come with a variety of experiences with traffic. Since it would be almost impossible to cover them all in just one episode, we will focus on the portion that we drove during our visit, that of which provided access to a lot of options for food, shopping, and other entertainment. No surprise that a city the size of Renton also offers public transportation, and its size also lends to the fact that there are four high schools in the district. Just based on the drive grade criteria for this episode and our experience driving around the parts of Renton that we drove on this visit, we can't really see any reason not to give a 5 out of 5 for drive grade. Level of fun. So for the next couple episodes, our level of fun grade will be based simply on the overall vibe of the neighborhood, as well as the quality and quantity of options within for entertainment and leisure. Obviously, a city the size of Renton will have a ton of options for food, entertainment, and leisure, which was cool, but probably what we loved the most was the vibe of the city, probably mostly because it reminded us of our hometown. In order to evaluate the city, we chose three spots to check out. We first picked a spot to grab some coffee. It must be the Seattle light in this. Huh? The spot we chose for the coffee was the Rose Cafe and Gift Shop. Located at 226 Main Avenue South, Suite B, the Rose Cafe is, as its name states, a cafe and gift shop that sells great pastries, cool gifts, local art, and an all-around great place to just hang out. And oh yeah, the coffee was delicious as well. Along with the amazing coffee, pastries, and scenery, this place comes with a cool story. Its owner focuses on serving the community, and from what we understand, is also super involved in educating herself and fellow business owners in the inequalities of the system. Pretty dope. After grabbing the coffee, we wanted to see what the city had to offer in terms of nature. So we headed over to the Gene Colon Memorial Beach Park, located at 1201 Lake Washington Boulevard North. Gene Colon Memorial Beach Park is a beautiful park that along with the playground for kids, volleyball courts, and boat dock access, it offers a walking path that weaves through beautiful serene scenery that includes wildlife of the less threatening kind. We absolutely enjoyed taking in the scenery and even getting sort of up close to the wildlife. But after the stroll, we were ready for some food. And of course, Renton has tons of options for food. But the place we headed to was recommended by a Renton local. And believe it or not, this restaurant was in a hotel, Water's Table. Located in the Hyatt Regency, Lake Washington, it offers top-tier food and wine and cocktails. And on top of all of that, a beautiful view of Lake Washington. Water's Table was a great choice. The food was unbelievable. In fact, we indulged so much, we ended up staying the night at the Hyatt Regency. Staying overnight felt sort of like we actually moved to Renton. Overall, our visit, or should we say stay in Renton, checked all the boxes that make it a great option for any prospective movers. Hmm, and should we move to Renton? Anyway, based on the level of fun scale for this episode, we give the city of Renton a 5 out of 5. Comfortability for black people. Of course, nothing's changed as far as how we are basing our comfort level for black people rating. Here's the thing to know about Renton. 
It is home to some large employers like Boeing. Also, it's the home of the Seahawks practice facility, all lending to the fact that you see a lot more black people than what you might be used to seeing in Washington. Along with the black faces, we did notice a lot of more overall diversity, and we can say that all the people we encountered during our visit were friendly and welcoming. We can definitely see it being a comfortable city for any person and or family of color to move to. And definitely more affordable than Seattle, <laughs> but let me stay on topic. In regards to comfortability for black people, we give the city of Renton a five out of five. We hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Be sure to check out all of our previous episodes. Yes, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow our page on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and check out our merchandise on TravelMileBlackSeattle.com. And reach out if there's anywhere you would like us to go check out. Until next time, beautiful people, stay up, stay true, and do you.